now let us know that how can we connect these wires to Arduino. So first we have taken ultrasonic sensor and male to female wires. We will be connecting them uh, to ultrasonic sensor. So now we will be seeing that where is the ground pin. So as friends you can see the red one. connected to male to female wires so now we have inserted in into pin number 11 so here's the pin number 11 we have done and this will be inserting the another wire into GND So now let us see that will it works or not. So now I will bring up a set. Yes, it's working. Now I'm putting my hand up the sensor and the buzzer is on. So friends, as you can see, I have ordered my buzzer from the Amazon. They here they're showing many kind of buzzers as you can see. But personally, I have ordered this one. So, with this, you can also order battery if you're not having and other tools as well. So, with the use of this data cable, I am supplying the current to the Arduino and supplying the current to the tools. So, instead of this wire, we can use a battery to give the power or 5 volt supply to our Arduino. So friends, as you can see, there is ultrasonic sensor available on Amazon. So there are many kinds of ultrasonic sensors, but personally I have ordered this one. It is electronic sensor HCSRO4. So friends, this is the plastic stick. I have bought to demonstrate the blind stick project to you guys. You can buy it from any local market nearby you. So this is the handle of the stick to give a perfect look to it as it is, will be used by the blind person so it should have a good handle to get a good hold. So at the bottom of the stick I will be pasting the sensors and the Arduino box so that it can so it can sense the object and that will come in front of it. So friends let's move ahead. So friends as you can see I have put the Arduino and other tools in this box so it will be giving us an attractive look. So here I have placed the battery to give the power to Arduino and the sensor. And here I have placed the sensor to give it a look of the eyes. So as we all know the blind people can't see from their eye, it will be acting as their eye. So I have mentioned here a helping hand. So now I will be pasting it in the bottom of this stick uh, by using this transparent tape. So let's paste it. 
friends now i'll be demonstrating the working of this blind stick so let's go so as suppose that a blind person is walking and he's trying to find the obstacle in front of him then the sensor will sense the object and the sensor says that this is a obstacle in front of him that is a table so he will be changing his way to another direction so let us try with this ball that will the sensor will sense the ball or not yes the sensor senses the ball so the blind person will move to next direction so it has sensed the bicycle that in front of him there is a obstacle then he move to another way Again, since the obstacle that is coming in front of him. So, friends, I hope that this question will arise in your mind that where this beep sound is coming from. Do you remember? I have put down a puzzle inside this box. It is coming from that puzzle only. So, I hope you get excited by seeing this blind stick, and you will also try it in your school project. So, all the best to you guys. So friends this is the code or you can say command behind our blind stick so now i'll be explaining it to you that what uh, commands i have given to my blind stick so as we can see it has written const int trick pin into pin number 9 so here we can see this is a ultrasonic sensor so it has a trick pin which is placed over here so from a trick pin we have given a pin number to pin number 9 in the arduino as same to echo pin we have given into number 10 and as buzzer we into pin number 11 and led pin into pin number 13 so let us move to variables and the variable of duration distance and safety distance duration will be measured in long that it can be long distance and then distance that will be integer and safe to distance that will also be integer so now this is a void setup which shows up output and input so here i have written trick pin will be giving us output and echo pin will be taking input so here is the void loop where we have given the conditions so i have given the condition when trick pin is low digital cross second 2 that it will wait for 2 seconds So now moving forward. So this is the other command we are giving to it. So as you can see now, I have given trick pin into high delay microseconds. Now these are microseconds. Uh, so we have given ten microseconds. That it will wait for ten microseconds. Now trick pin again low. So now the duration. the variable we have uh, shown that pulse in echo pin high now so calculating the distance we are talking about distance duration now i have given us that time so now safety distance the same now else we are talking about else that after when sensor sense something what will happen then buzzer low that it doesn't sense something then buzzer will be low and let pin will also remain low So now the next, as you can see, when trick pin is low, it will be taking microseconds only. So friends, this is the code behind our blind stick. As you can see here, 